ladies and gentlemen, Jeff. So imagine you're a great athlete. Don't matter what sport it is, but you're a great athlete. And you decide, I'm going to go to the Olympics. Now, would you do that by yourself? Would you take, would you leave the coach behind? No, you get a coach. Any great athlete has got a great coach to help them break through the barriers and make sure that they can compete and they can win. Now, imagine, what's, what's the most important race you'll ever run? The race of your life. Now, I'm not a life coach, so people say, well, uh, can you help me? Well, I, I will mess with your head in coaching you with your business, but your business is a big part of your life. So even if you aren't a business owner today, you actually are in business for yourself. In fact, you're in business for yourself because you're trying to sell yourself to somebody today. So in a sense, you're in, for, in business. So the things that I do as a business coach you can do in your own life. Okay, now, one of the things that run with lots of business owners, they get into business for what reason? Anybody, if you want to get into business, say, okay, I, myself, I got into business automotive mechanics because I love working on cars. And that was great, so I jump in, and I liked the guy I worked for, I liked his business, and I thought, I could do that myself. So, I went to school to learn how to fix cars. But I didn't go to school to become learn how to be an entrepreneur. There's no small business school to go to. And I'd be someone get an MBA. An MBA does not teach you how to hire people, how to turn on the lights, pay the bills, make the budgets, and do all that in your small business. And 85% of business in America is small business. We're talking the mom and pop shop. We're talking the person that might have the shop, you know, two or three employees up to about 50 employees. That, those companies that do a couple hundred thousand dollars on up to 10 million. That's 85% of the business out there. And the sad statistic is that 85% of those businesses are going to be out of business in five years. And then five years later, 85% of those businesses that are left are going to be out of business. So there's challenges in that. So I, as a business coach, I step in and help them to make plans to figure out how to make their business successful. And again, these ideas can apply to you if you're just if you're an employee or you want to manage your life better. One of, the pro one of the things, you know, someone finally hires me, and a lot of times, they've got fires all over the place. So the first thing, of course, I make a big assessment. Where are we? What's the problem with the business right now? What are the, what, what's the, what's the, the overall issue? So how much money do we owe? How many employees do we have? What's the location? What's the market? What's that? So number one is, where am I? And you can do that for yourself. Number two, what's the, what's the goal? Now, how many people here, I'm gonna, this is gonna, you've heard this before, how many people here have had their goals written down? Great, awesome. you got to have your goals written down. Okay, imagine I'm going to get on an airplane, and I get on the airplane, and I'm sitting down with the pilots. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your captain speaking, and I know it's a nice day out there, so we're going to get to put this plane up in the air. We're going to start flying someplace. We're going to go to this place, we're going to go to that place, and, and finally we're going to, before we're on the gas, we're going to land somewhere. I'm not going to get on that plane. I want to get off. I'm going to get that guy's where he's going. Okay? So you have to have goals. You have to have some plans. What are you doing? So I look at the, the, the goals. Why did you get in business in the first place? Why did you get in the field you're in the first place? So you know, most people say, well, I wanted this and I wanted that and I wanted that. But after five, ten years of working, those dreams are out the window because I've been working so much on in the business, not on the business. And yet, you know, they, at one point, I had a rapacious desire to own that cabin at the lake or to travel the world, or just to buy that nice car, or put the kids in a great college someday, but now they're working like crazy, and they don't have the cash flow they did, they're wondering, what did they get into this business? Who talked me into, into this business? So can we make the, we get back to where the goals we got in the business in the first place? Okay, focus on what it is, but what's the desire? Because if I, if I don't have any place to go in the future, why get out of bed? So the next thing is, is that, we start making plans on, okay, next step, so how, do, how, do, how do I get where I'm going to go? I look at a one-year goal, I look at a, at a five-year goal, a ten-year goal. Where, where, where are we going? Now I think, well, that's great, but where do I start? So we start simple baby steps. I look at the next one, 90 days. And guess, well, I want to do this and this and this and this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you got in this mess. It took you 10, 15 years to get in this mess. We can't fix this mess overnight. So you've got to take the time to go through, make those plans, understand it's going to take a little work. But my job as a coach, just like a sports coach, is to help keep you accountable for that and start helping you make those plans. If you want to go out and run a marathon right now, oh, I'm going to go out and run 24 miles tomorrow. Well, first of all, you're going to make it. You're going to fall flat on your, on your face 
after a mile if you haven't run anywhere in some time. Plus the other thing is, if you run too fast, too hard, you get injured. And then you can't run the marathon. That actually happened to me. I was, I actually was trained, people weren't so good, they were pushing us a little too hard, and I couldn't run, I ended up only running the half because I got a little injured in the way of the training. So I never got that, that 24 mile race done with that. I've done it before, but. So getting there, you can't do it all at once. We've got to pace ourselves. The next thing is, is an implementation. The biggest thing, we make all these wonderful plans, but then <clears throat> we sit in front of the TV and don't get it done. Or you get a business owner gets too busy. Oh, I gotta fix this, I gotta fix that, I gotta collect the money. I gotta make I gotta make the money, I gotta do this. No stop. If you hire the wrong person because you didn't make the plans properly, you're gonna pay for it. It's gonna cost you time and money because they're not gonna do their job. You're gonna step in and do that for them. So, you know, it's now now the time is it's getting to the, the piece by piece, making those goals, follow through, follow through, and again I'm the coach, I help them get things done. In fact, I had a guy the other day says, are you going to kick me in the rear end? I said, yes. If you don't do your work, you gave me the, uh, the authority to kick you in the, in the hind end and get that done because that's the biggest thing. Most business owners are out there trying to do it alone, and they don't have a mentor. So the biggest thing I tell people, if you, in, in life, if you don't have a coach or a mentor, find somebody that can help you get where you want to go because that's what a coach can do for you. Get your dreams and goals. That's your goals now.